Hey, it's Ragtar, and I'm going to be playing another episode of Captain Toad Treasure Track. You may remember the last episode I said, is this going to be the shortest episode of Captain Toad, or not the shortest episode, is this going to be the shortest series of all times ever, or will there be a bunch more content in this game? And on this episode, you get to find out if this will be the shortest series ever, or if we're going to find out if this is just going to be a really short game, or if there's going to be more content. And as you can imagine... I personally am hoping that there will just be a lot more content. By the way, interestingly about this level so far is you can't pan- here we go. I was like, you couldn't pan the camera around at the earlier parts. Ooh, sweet. Okay, so we basically can get massive- oh, we gotta use this probably to hide in there while he is doing his easy breezy moves. I wonder if we can throw- oh, shite. Oh, gosh. I was about to say, I wonder if we can throw turnips at this dude. There's so much to do, and at least I can see all the diamonds, so... Plenty of diamonds to collect. The bird apparently is not very talented as far as- Oh, crap! I want to get all the stuff! This bird apparently is Wingo, that's his name. Or her name. Or its name. You know, why must we put gender into two categories? No, so anyways... This bird apparently- I wonder if we can- Oh, you can get a little hit on Wingo, and I guess that's just a tempo stun on it. So Wingo will stop bothering you, at least momentarily. I'm gonna stay on here. Actually, so Wing Wingo's gusts can't affect me for a moment. Because I don't want to get pushed off the ledge edge while I'm just effing around. Oh gosh! Look at these powerful gusts! I can't even gain any ground here. Wingo's got some very powerful spiels. Oh! Ah, so that'll blow those boxes. How did those not those boxes not already get blown around, by the way? That kind of is weird to me. Just because, oh shoot. Okay, so they probably have been blown around already, but it looks like Wingo is sort of going in a cycle, and if I don't get through here quick... Oh, okay, good, I made it before he blew those boxes around again. I gotta... Now that I realize what's sort of happening here, though, I have to make sure... Oh, don't... We can do this! Oh, no. Apparently we can't do this. Apparently that is not the case, and now I have to wait for a new Wingo cycle. So I guess that's gonna be the whole name of the game here, is that you have to wait for Wingo's wing cycles, and I just walked off the edge. I seriously just walked off. Okay, now I'm back where I was before. Let's try and get Wingo right now. Oh, nope, that didn't work. But, even though that didn't work, I'm still on this tower now. Now there's two things I can possibly do here. I can either raise this... Oh no, but now that made me lose my opportunity. I guess it didn't make me lose my opportunity. I was gonna say it made me lose my opportunity to get all these coins, but I have it back now. Although, I'm gonna be 100% sure. I'm not certain what importance that has. Oh, okay, yeah, it is really just, just a coin getting opportunity and nothing of intense value. Although, who's to say what has intense value in this game? I mean, I don't really know. Oh, we gotta wait for... Gotta wait for a Wingo cycle. Well, guess what? I'm not gonna sit here and... Do that on camera. Alright, well, that wasn't that wasn't a lot of Wingo cycle waiting, but... Interestingly enough here, though, if you want to get this diamond, apparently... You have to wait for a couple more Wingo cycles. So, here we go. Waiting around on another Wingo cycle. Oh, actually, you know what? That's not even a long one, but yeah. They are not cool here. They make you do a bunch more wait. Not a bunch more waiting, I guess. But they make you do a little more waiting if you... Oh, I gotta get up here before... Luckily, the ladder can apparently be used as, like, a means of... Ooh, they make it so you can do a little bit of cutting around there. But wait. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize that was gonna happen. I'm dumb. I'm trying to figure out what's connected in here. I think this has to be... Okay, there we go. I wasn't sure because I had fallen down, and I guess it was just because I wasn't really paying attention to the angles very well. Is he just gonna wait there for me? Wingo! Are you just gonna wait there like a jerk? Or are you gonna... Alright, so I got all three diamonds, and now I guess we find out what happens when we go in the tube! Oh, do I have to aim this? Nope, it aims automatically, alright. And it looks like apparently... <gasps> He's been sitting on a pile of gold all along! It's always been sitting on a pile of gold the whole time. But, apparently, that... Oh, crap! Okay, don't get hit by giant turnips. And then we get to pick the third giant turnip, and apparently that'll be a Wingo damaging... Oh. 
Pudongs. Well, if that's the whole boss fight, that's not too bad, right? It's not too tough to dodge giant turnips. Although, see, I have effed myself now. All right. Got it. I don't know how far I can throw these. There we go. That's a Wingo damaging turnip for sure. Wingo, eat turnip! I don't know if you're a big fan of turnips. I mean, obviously you must like them. You summon them magically. Oh, he summoned it a little bit ahead of me, so I guess there's a little bit more dynamicism to this fight than I thought. Oh, but it puts me right back to the boss. Well, that's great. That's not so bad. All right, Wingo, turnip time. I decided I would cut past the first turnip cycle. I figured that wouldn't make any sense, but luckily, since I've got plenty of one-ups, it doesn't really matter, so I guess my mistake was I wasn't really, I was just running, because you know how sometimes in games like this, it's kind of the idea that the boss is sort of, okay, so he makes the other two go away. The idea is kind of that the boss will just be summoning it behind you, so it's sort of like if you just keep moving, then you'll stay ahead of it, and for some reason I just kind of assumed that this was like that, but yeah. Wingo will put them in front of you as well, it looks like, so... That was a bad assumption. Oh, no, 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 He's gonna waste my turnip cycle. Hopefully he doesn't make my turnip disappear before I get a chance to wreck him with it. Aww! Oh, he totally... I wanted to wreck him turnip style. Don't get blown off the edge. Captain Toad, now's the time to double down on your sweet, sweet toad tracking abilities. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Turnupville, USA. Now it's time to totally... Oh, crap. I wasted it. I wasted it again. No. I'm wasting all my turnip cycles. This is bad. Here we go. Well, this time he won't be... Oh. No. There we go. And eat turnip. And I, I, he really did eat turnip. It's stuck in his mouth. Apparently, he does not enjoy turnips. Well, that answers that question. We weren't sure if he liked turnips before or not. Now the answer is no. But what the real question is now, is what happens? Because in this game, it looked like there was, you know, only one star and Toadette. And now we have Toadette, and apparently we're going to have the one star. Because this game wasn't really about stars, right? So the question is, what happens? Is this the shortest playthrough on my channel of all times? Am I going to be... Let's talk to Toadette here. Oh, she didn't say anything. She's like, yeah, what up? Yeah, let's talk. Let's chit-chat. Well, we got the star. I guess that was the point of the game, was to clear the course and get a star. Which we will then probably go back and deliver to Mario. And they'll run the credits, maybe? I don't even know if they're going to run the credits or not. If they do... Whoa! Is this... I bet the credits are going to be a level. It's going to be one of those kinds of games where I get to kind of, like, play a little thing. Nope. Well, whatever. Just riding a minecart through a mystical, whimsical world of joy. Yeah, I guess I don't know if this goes on or not, but I'm going to end this episode right here. If this is the end of the game, it was a great game, but honestly not quite worth $40 if this is the whole game, so let's hope for more bonus content. Adorable. Totally adorbs. USA. I totally am just going to skip the credits cutscene on that one because if you want to watch it, I'm sure I'll put a link to somebody must have the video of it, so I'll just put a link to that. So there we go. Got the star. Wingo's Watchtower. Collected 70 coins. I might have gotten that. I was trying really hard to collect coins. Apparently, I didn't get it, though. I actually figured, oh, episode two is now okay. That makes a lot of sense. I actually figured that there would be an episode two. I was like, there's no way that they're just gonna end the game right there. That is great though that there's an episode two because I was gonna be really sad and of course it looks like we're probably gonna have the same sort of beginning. We're once again collecting a basic ass star. It's like, yeah, we got the star. This was so easy. Toadette, we're great collectors. Maybe this time uh, Captain Toad will be taken and we'll get to play as Toadette. That would be cool. That would be a more, that would be kind of a balanced sort of a thing. Oh, no. Okay, does somebody get jacked? Oh, the bird comes. It's the bird again. Not even any creativity here. It's just the bird all over again. The same dang-ass bird, and... Oh, it is! I like that! This time, Captain Toad gets taken, and you play as Toadette. Finally, finally, Nintendo is like, look, you should get to play as everybody. Everyone counts in this splendid game of Splendor. And so, I guess the fun don't stop. It's kind of weird, though. What do I even call this 
what do I even call this, um, this episode? Because not the finale, but the credits ran, and I almost always, I'll just be like, maybe kind of, sort of, the finale. Oh, yep, and it looks like they're all original levels in episode two. Well, now this game is definitely worth $40, seriously. I'm super excited, you know what? So, in the next episode, I'm just gonna end this episode right here. Fake Finale USA. In the next episode, we start off at the Shoot Scoot Slopes. By the way, I totally realized that the reason that I didn't get the coin collecting thing my first time through this level was because I died at the boss, so none of the coins I got before the boss counted, which means best coin run is 0, zero, zero whereas I probably got all 70, but you have to get it all in one go, otherwise it doesn't count. Holy shit, look at the fantastic boss fight that I had on my second time around. As you can see, I got two hits off on the very first round of turnips there, and there's that nice 70 coin check mark that I was hoping for, and now I have cleared the entire first episode to its completion, I believe. So, with that, I will for realsies end this episode right here, and in the next episode, I will be tackling episode 2 as Toadette in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. This has been Raktar. Thank you for watching.